Hi, everybody. I'm Jim Clark, and welcome to the Men's Soccer Weekly. We're talking with Cavalier head coach John Hall. And, John, a tough three-game week. Start with a big win against Malone at home on Tuesday. Yeah, that was uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, massive crowd out there. Uh, really got the boys up for the game and uh, gave us a lot of confidence going into it at the start. And uh, we had a very, very good game. Uh, created a... a a lot of chances to score. Uh, fortunately, we stuck one in and uh, we got the result, which was great. Well, it's a tough game. If you find out you can dominate the game all night and then one play can happen and really ruin the whole thing, but you really held on late. You yeah. kept them out of the net. Very big win. Yeah, we held on. And, uh, you know, for, for, for as long as it stayed at 1-0, we always gave them a chance. It, it would have been nice to have put a second one in. And I think then... It might have been a bit of an avalanche after that, but fair play to Malone. They gave us a good game, but great result for us. Great you, result. You talked about the crowd. I mean, you know, they don't realize sometimes how big it is when folks are out there mm -hmm. watching, even more when the student body is out there watching yep. their fellow classmates. It was great. The boys really, uh, really were excited for it and appreciated of it, and uh, it, it was fantastic. I wish we got that every week. Really do. A lot of folks would like that. <laughs> yeah. Now, Saturday, Friday, and Sunday, um, two tough Gleak Road matches. You know, you lose at Northwood and then Saginaw, two mm -hmm. very good teams, and they're always tougher to beat at their place. Yeah, we took a, we took a nice box and we gift wrapped it. We put nice <laughs> little uh, silk on it and, and put two ribbons on two goals for both Northwood and Saginaw at key points in the game, uh, which really turned it for us. Other than that, we had spells where we were in control. Um, but to be fair, they're very good sides and uh, it was very competitive, but uh, I was very, very impressed with how my players handled uh, the game against Northwood. Um, it was a very physical game, um, was a, um, you know, which, which intimidated some of the players, uh, but it was a lesson that we, we'll learn the next time we play them later down in the season. And, uh, but um, I was very, very happy with the way we competed. I really was. And you hit the keys. You can't gift wrap goals, even especially on the road. You can't. Uh, at key moments in the game, um, we were 2-1 down against Northwood. And we were in charge of the game at that point, going for a, a tying goal. And we made a silly mistake. And it cost us. And, and that really, you know, just turned the game a little bit. 2-0 uh, two uh, two down in the first half against Saginaw. Uh, we rolled out the first five minutes of the second half uh, against them. And then for the next 20, 25 minutes, we were knocking on the door, looking to put one in the back of the net. And it would have changed the game had we scored in that period of time. But again, we made a, a bit of a mistake and that put that sealed the game really. And uh, they were 3-0 up and that's a hard task to come back from with, uh, with about 15 minutes to go. So, uh, But it was great. Great performances by some players, very competitive, and uh, you know a lot of positives, even though we didn't get the results this weekend. This week, road match Friday, Lake Erie, back home Sunday, Tiffin, talk about the Storms and the Dragons. Yeah, Lake Erie have got off to a great start. They're, uh, they're doing well in the conference, and putting some good results together, so that's going to be a very competitive match on a tight field up at, uh, up at Lake Erie. It's a smaller field. Uh, it's on turf, so uh, it's their advantage in that respect. Um, so that's going to be uh, an interesting uh, challenge on Friday. On Sunday against Tiffin, it's my alma mater, and uh, I always like to win against them. Uh, we beat them last year, but they're a very, very competent team. They've got some very experienced players on the team that play in the PDL and uh, in the summers and that have returned. They also had a preseason uh, tour up in Canada, so they're a little bit ahead of the game in regards to where their uh, uh, game fitness is and, and uh, preparation. So that is going to be a tough game as well. But uh, we're up for the challenge, and like I said, we had a lot of positives from this past weekend. And if we play like that, I'll, I'll be more than happy regardless of the result. Now, Lake Erie's on the turf. Will you jump on our turf in preparation this week at all? We, we shall. We'll have some sessions on, that, on the turf field this week just to get us ready and uh, familiar with the surface for sure. Thanks, Sean. Good luck this week. Cheers. Now, remember, fans, on the road Friday, back home, Tiffin Sunday. Come on out, 1 o'clock game with the Dragons. Always a big foe for the Cavaloos throughout the years. Make sure you're there. I'm Jim Clark, and that's our Men's Soccer Weekly.